Hello everybody, Jekyll here. Thanks to my abysmal decision making skills, I decided to have another Twitter poll regarding the next topic for this series. So, let's do it. So, Cleforth. It's one of the first panels on the text that was meta relevant. Not due to the mechanic being overpowered at the time though, which was weird in its own right. The meta aspect of the deck came from the fact that it was able to utilize the best floodgates in the game. Most most worthy would be skill drain, and just swarm the field with high power monsters. However, this isn't an art type review, it's a video about the Cleforth engine. So, time for some history of the engine. The cards required had their first releases in different sets, those being New Challengers in 2014 and Secrets of Eternity in 2015. And then, the entire engine was re-released in Pendulum Evolution in 2017. The engine saw a bit of play, especially in Metalfall's variants, mostly due to its rather small size and the capability to summon one of the strongest succeeds monsters in the game, Cyber Dragon Infinity. You might be wondering, what cards is the engine made out of? Like mentioned previously, it's a very small engine because it has only two cards, Cleaford Scout and Cleaford Monolith. The only card that we need to make a look at is Scout, since Monolith is only there because it's a level 5 machine type Pendulum monster with Klee. In its name. So let's look at that. This card's only effect is the pendulum effect, which allows the owner to search out the Cleaford monster, in this case Monolith, for the measly cost of 800 life points. The build of the engine, as per usual, is rather simple one Cleaford Scout and one Cleaford Monolith. Small, isn't it? There is a possibility to make this engine a bit more consistent. That would be by adding search cards like Summoner's Art or Wavering Eyes. The greatest advantage of this engine is its size. With it being two cards, it's not very hard to put into a deck. It also easily summons either a rank 5, in this case Cyber Dragon Nova, and from that Cyber Dragon Infinity, or a rank 2, like Union Carrier. It requires cards that can destroy the scales, meaning the usage of the engine is limited. Also not only due to that, but also from the fact that those are pendulum monsters. The engine, due to it being a pendulum monster based, works best in pendulum decks. Obviously, I personally suggest any Metalfalls variant due to Metalfalls cards having built-in destruction effects. Other than that, it can be successful in Dino Mists, however running Wavering Eyes would be necessary at that point. And that would be it for today. It was a very small, but a quite handy engine to use. I hope you I found this episode informative and helpful, and if you did, remember to leave a comment or a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!